This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Nermeen Sheikh. We end today's show remembering the life of African-American civil rights ad activist Medgar Evers. In the early 1960s, Ed Evers served as the first NAACP field secretary for Mississippi, where he worked to end segregation and fought for voter rights. It was 50 years ago today, June 12, 1963, when the 37-year-old organizer was assassinated in his driveway. I recently caught up with uh, his widow, Merle Evers at an NAACP dinner here in New York and asked her how people should remember her husband, for whom she sought justice for so many years. Well, what I would encourage young people to do is to go online and find out as much as they can about him, uh, his contributions, to go, believe it or not, to their libraries and uh, do research, and to say to them that he was a man of all time one who was totally dedicated to freedom for everyone and was willing to pay a price. And he knew what that price was going to be, but he was willing to pay it. As he said in one of his last speeches, I love my wife and I love my children, and I want to create a better life for them and all women and all children, regardless of race, creed, or color. I think that kind of sizes him up. He knew what was going to happen. He didn't want to die, but he was willing to take the risk. Talk about where he was coming from that night that he was killed in your driveway. Menka was coming from um, a mass rally that we had uh, two or three times a week, actually. And there had been uh, a meeting after that uh, session, and he was on his way home. I know how weary he was, because he got out of his car on the driver's side, which was next to the road where the assassin was waiting. And we had determined uh, quite some time ago that um, we should always get out on the other side uh, of the car. And that night, he got out on the driver's side with uh, an arm full of T-shirts that said Jim Crow must go. And that bullet struck him in his back, ricocheted throughout his chest, and he lasted 30 minutes after that, and the doctor said they didn't know how he did. But he was determined to live. The good thing, his body's not here, but he still lives. And I'm very happy, proud, and pleased to have played a part in making that come true. Merle Evers, 50 years ago today, June 12, 1963. Her husband, the civil rights leader Medgar Evers, 37 years old, was assassinated in his driveway in Jackson, Mississippi.